let's take a look at the definition of a shell in a simulation study, in particular the offset. So if we come in and edit the definition of this shell, it's just a square tube, you can see it's set as thin, 0.125, and the offset, if you don't expand it, it automatically sets it as middle surface, which means it's going to offset the material an equal amount in both directions, so the overall thickness is 0.125. And if we show the mesh that's been created, the part color will be the top surface. The orange color will be mapped as the bottom surface. So if I look at the stresses, this is the stress of the top surface is 20.8 megapascals. And if I double click on this plot here, you can choose to pick up the bottom surface stresses as well. Now if I go to a new study here, what happens if I modify the definition, in particular that offset, and instead of a mid-surface, I'm going to choose the top surface. Within the mesh itself, you can see it's all the same. We have the top surface on the outside, the bottom surface on the inside. However, stresses went from 20 down to 18. So if we show the mesh again, by defining it as the top surface, we're saying these outer gray surfaces are going to be the top. So the offset is going to be down from there. So that means the dimensions of the square will actually be the outer dimensions of this square tubing. Now in 2013, it's actually much easier to visualize where you can right click on the mesh and say render shell thickness in 3D where you can actually get a visual visualization of how it's being offset. So you can see it's going to the inside. And for the last study, if we take a look at the definition of this one, I've just changed it to the bottom surface. So within the mesh, if we render the shell thickness in 3D, what you'll be able to see if I show the mesh you can see the bottom surface was on the inside, so it's offset away from that bottom surface. So the dimensions of the square are now the inside dimensions of the square tubing. At which point the stresses of this one will increase to 21.1 megapascals. So it's very important to check which offset you have and make sure the shells are going in the right direction. And in 2013, it's very easy to visualize. Just turn on the render shell thickness in 3D.